welcome back everybody just planting some wheat because I figure that the paper trading didn't go so well with those villagers so maybe some of them want some wheat and this yields like four and a half stacks per harvest so I figure I'll start harvesting it when it's actually ready and that way I can build up a good amount of wheat now yesterday I didn't well yesterday I let's say I took a vacation I didn't play Minecraft at all yesterday I uh, I knew that the UHL episode was going up, so I, I did nothing. I watched TV, some movies, I think. I don't even remember, but it was cool. But now I'm back. Now i got to figure out what kind of episode to make for you guys, because you guys are always wanting more, and I like giving it to you, but it's hard to think of everything to do without making it too boring. Like planting wheat. Yay! All right, what are we going to do now? Um, let me transport the wheat up here. I took it all out of my chest. We're going to dump it all in there for right now. And then at some point in the future, not those, we'll grab one of the villagers, lure them into that house, and uh, make a good trade with them. And I forgot about this wheat up here, too. That's cool. Um, I had an idea. Uh, before I started filming, I came up here and I counted all the villagers. They were in all these houses on this street, and there are seven of them still. So we haven't lost any, but we also haven't gained any. What I was thinking is, like I said, I don't know the dynamics of towns and villages, so it's possible that this is causing them a problem. Um, they don't see anything beyond that. That's why they're hardly ever over there. So we're going to move this. I, I think everything should work out fine with the nether hub. We're just going to move this over to here. And hopefully they'll see this as a street and go down to these houses. But time will tell and it's probably not going to happen until morning anyway. So that's, that's that so far. Uh, that is the worst trade ever. But unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to do some of these trades, uh, the crappy trades, because in order to get something better, like that's even worse. But this guy here, which we, we upgraded the paper, and then his next trade is the same crappy compass one, which is terrible. And this guy, maybe we should build a, uh, a reed farm too. I think I'm done up here. Well, let's test another portal first, just to make sure. Because there's nothing worse than not testing something and discovering later that it doesn't work. Okay, so that connects to there. Sweet. And we return here. Awesome. Okay, let me figure out what I'm going to do next. Well, let me ask you guys a question. For videos, because you guys want lots of stuff to happen, or not lots of stuff, but you want longer things, should do you mind if I like complete a project, or do you want sort of like a different project every episode? You know, like last episode, we worked on this sheep wool place. Now, do you want me to finish this up today, or do you want me to do something different and then come back to this maybe the next day? You know, I'd like to know what your guys' thoughts are on how things should go. Hmm. I thought this was going to spit one out. Uh, I bet you it spits one out when I'm finished. Yep. Alright, we'll have to invert that, I guess. Okay, so I'll collect all this wool here. So let me know in the comments on that topic. And... I still don't even know what I want to do this episode. I'm just sort of like going through some motions. And you know, I get some ideas. I'm like, okay, we'll film that for a minute. And actually, since we just got all this wool, I will color coordinate it. Uh, I forget how the colors go, and everything's out of order. So it's like light gray first, and then gray, black, brown, and white. Alright, now we'll just put that behind all of these. And that will magically, in with the power of editing, be finished. Hey, get out of the way, sheep. You're ruining my editingness. Maybe we won't edit. I'll just ramble on through it. And it's going pretty easily so far. However, I only have one of those. 
Not cool. Alright, that takes care of that. Now we just need more wood. And maybe dig a whole new ceiling. Cause that's a little low. Not liking that. I'm getting so distracted today that when I came out of that room, I'm like, I gotta solve this problem. I, I just can't... Anything I see, I have to solve the problem today. So I just put a little bit of a redstone torch up there. So now every time you hit the switch, it will spit it out. Now, unfortunately, it spits it out twice, but you need to put stuff back anyway when you're done. So I don't care if it does that. That's going to be just fine. And I'm not going to replace this wood. Uh, it would still work. Like, stuff would still spit out. But then I couldn't put things back without having to go through the door. And that would just be more of a pain. So we'll leave it like that. And this is just temporary so that the water wasn't flowing around. Doors are not my friend. We'll use this door. Alright, let's let's dig. We've dug and I went and I bought chopped down a whole bunch of wood and we're gonna start with this roof. I think that's how I want it, like that and like this. Hmm. It might be too dark because it's not as big as the other room. That's not where I wanted that. That should go there. And then maybe I don't have any light stairs. Hmm, I thought I did. Probably forgot them. Always forgetting things. So my next question to you guys is, while I work on this, do you or are you interested in me doing any live streams? I mean, I find myself quite boring, but you guys seem to like me. And so my question is, if I were to do a live stream, when would you want it? Uh, like on the weekends, you know, like late Saturday or Sunday, or in the middle of the week, you know, like in the evenings? What do you guys think? Let me know, because I'm not opposed to doing them, it's just that I don't know what to do with them. But I figure that massive... Um, Eye of London that we're going to build, which, like I said, it's not going to be anytime soon because it takes a lot of resources, but I guess I could be building that while doing a live stream, and then I could answer your guys' questions and read in the comments and everything like that. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Can I knock out that block? Mm, not really. Oh well, we'll just leave it as is. Break you... I like how you can break through blocks now, because before, you couldn't. Like, if you tried to place this here, it would end up like here. So that's an awesome change to 1.3. Um, speaking of changes, I have to change something, because my good friend Cops pointed out in the comments last episode that these stairs work great if you want to jump the last step. So I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to do like some sort of half slab here or something. I guess I could still do a stair. Like that. So when you come up, you just turn the corner. That will work out fine, I think. So thanks, cops, for pointing that out. Made me look like an idiot. But that's what it's all about. That's what the comment section is for, pointing out my flaws. So that will cover this conversation. Answer me on the live stream question if you're interested in that or not. It could be fun. I've done one a long time ago, uh, back when I did my quest for everything. But I was not very popular back then, and nobody showed up. You know, I didn't fault anybody for that. I was young. Nobody knew what the hell or who the hell I was. But now that I have much more subscribers, maybe more people will show up this time. All right, let me let me finish this off because placing wood is boring. I hate building while recording because it it's like, what the hell are you guys looking at? You're looking at me placing wood. That's no cool. That's not cool. Project complete, and this is what it looks like. I like it except for that one dark wood block. But I don't care. I'm gonna leave it. This is what you'll always see when you walk into it, so that's good. 
Uh, next step is just finish up the stair the staircase and like I said I think I'm gonna rip out this wall. I converted the wall into this little raised platform of a floor and into this wall. So I gotta go get some more stone brick, redo the ceiling, and then that's that for this little area down here. Um, actually what I'm thinking is uh, that will be there and probably two, uh, maybe three away. I'm going to make a little walkway into here, and that's going to loop around to the left. That will go down to my mine shafts and the lava source, um, because that is just back here, which I've now covered up. So that will go under these stairs and come out on the other side. That should hook up fine, yeah. So we'll do that, fancy that all up. I think I'm going to go cook up some stone now because I need a lot of brick and we'll I'll get some more wood too we'll finish this off see what it looks like so stay tuned so while I work on this situation I'll think of a topic to talk about uh, basically movies I watched the movie Battleship the other day and when I first saw the trailers for it I was like, oh, that movie is going to be terrible. It looked just like Transformers, you know, and Transformers is not the greatest of movies. And so I figured Battleship was going to be just as bad. Well, I finally watched it because it just came out on DVD. That is upside down. And let me put it this way to you. You have to watch the movie. It is very good. I don't want to give any spoilers away, and I don't want to overhype it, but it's a great movie. That's as much overhype as you're going to get. I'm trying to think of what other movies that I've seen recently that we can talk about, but I was just drawing a blank, and uh, there hasn't been a lot of good movies coming out lately on DVD. Uh, there's a lot of good movies in theaters currently, but nothing out on DVD, and I have, so I haven't seen very much lately. Uh, one thing that I'm looking forward to is, of course, Batman. I heard it's very good. It's just as good as the... They said it was better than Batman Begins, but not as good as The Dark Knight. Which is fine, because Batman Begins was an amazing movie. And so if it's better than that, but not as good as The Dark Knight, it's still going to be an excellent movie. And it's too bad that they're going to stop making them. You know, Christopher Nolan and whatever the other guy's name is, Christian Bale, because they they hit a jackpot there. I mean, I, I love it. I don't know if you guys all like it, but movies are awesome when they're good. I'm sick and tired of seeing movies that are so junky. It's like, what were they thinking? Even I could do a better job, maybe. I don't, because I watch a lot of, uh, last episode I mentioned I watched a guy named S.S. Debris, and he does reviews on TV shows of sci-fi type, sci-fi <laughs> sci TV shows, like Star Trek and stuff like that, and you guys also might know Red Letter Media, who reviews all the Star Wars movies and Star Trek movies, and I don't understand why movie companies don't get people like them to review their movies like while they're writing it you know before they actually start filming the thing because they point out such obvious flaws that how could the movie writer include it in it's like this is the stupidest scene I've ever seen that's right I used the word scene twice two different meanings anyway I think I've rambled enough um this looks alright I think. What do you guys think? It looks good enough? Should I add some wooden details or something to it? You know, I, I need to get the lighting down a little bit. You know, it's, it's dark in areas. But that looks pretty good. I'll, I'll do a similar thing to the other side. Um, I don't know if... I'll probably do dark wood. Dark wood stairs going up this way just to make it look a little bit different but it won't be so contrasty that you're like this doesn't go together at all. Alright, let me finish up this ceiling. Alright, so last thing for today. I think I'm going to start doing a, a subscriber drive. You know, try to very actively get subscribers. 
I'm going to see what kind of forums I can find and maybe post some of the links to my Let's Plays in there and uh, see if I can get some subscribers. And I'm going to make this promise to you guys. Once I make it to 500 subscribers, I will, like, 99% not release a video that's less than 20 minutes of a Let's Play. Unless it's a... Uh, you know, some other type of thing. You know, if it's a little tutorial or something like that, it probably won't be 20 minutes plus. But until then, until I reach 500 subs, you guys get what you get. That's what I'm going to say. So this video, I don't know how long it's going to be. I've recorded for like 16 minutes already, but I know I'm going to cut some of that out. So this video might be about 15 minutes long. But that's all you're going to get because that's that's all I'm going to do. So leave comments below what you guys think about everything. I always ask uh, way too many questions in these videos. Like, what do you guys think of this? What do you think of that? And by the end of the video, you guys forgot the first question. So leave me any comment. Suggestions, feedback, whatever. You name it, I'll listen to it, and we'll see what I can do about it. So, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next episode.